Hi, and welcome to Section 3, Indexing and Searching Data. In this section, we will learn indexing data and searching index data with Apache Lucene. Let's start with the first video of this section that deals with indexing data with Apache Lucene. Indexing is the first step for searching data fast. In this video, we will demonstrate how to index a large amount of data with Apache Lucene. In action, Lucene uses an inverted full text index. In other words, it considers all documents, splits them into words or tokens, and then builds an index for each token so that it knows in advance exactly which document to look for if a term is searched. Go to this website and download Apache Lucene. Once we click on the download button, it will take us to a Mira website that hosts the distribution. Once we choose the appropriate Mira for downloading, it will take us to a directory of distribution. We download the Lucene 6.5.1 zip file. Once it's downloaded, unzip the distribution. Upon opening Lucene, we will see a nicely organized folder distribution as like this. Now, open Eclipse and create a project name Lucene Tutorial. Next, insert necessary JAR files as external libraries into the project. Right-click on our project name in the Package Explorer. Select Build Path and then Configure Build Path. This opens properties for our project. Click on the Add External Jars button and then add JAR files from Lucene 6.5.1 distributions. First, add Lucene Core 6.5.1, then Lucene Query Parser 6.5.1, and lastly, Lucene Analyzer's Common 6.5.1. You can see the added files here. For indexing, we will be using the writings of William Shakespeare in text format. Go to this link on norvig.com. In the files in the download section, we find a .txt file named Shakespeare. Download this file anywhere in your system. If you're redirected like this, just press Ctrl S. Now, go back to the home page and download ngrams.zip. Unzip the files and you will see the distribution. After we create a folder in our project directory, right click on our project in Eclipse and go to New and then Folder. Type input as the folder name and click on Finish. Copy Shakespeare.txt file into this folder. Create another folder and name it Index. We then create a package in our project named Org Apache Lucene Demo. Create a Java file in this package and name it indexfiles.java. In that Java file, create a class named indexfiles. The first method we write is called indexdocs. The method indexes any given file using the given index writer. If a directory is provided as argument, the method recursively iterates over files and directories found under the given directory. This method indexes one document per input file. As we're using index writer, we first need to import it. Same is the case with path. So, import path. And we'll need IO exception as well. Writer is the index writer that writes index where the given file or directory information will be stored. And path is the file to index or the directory containing the files for which index will be created. If a directory is provided, the directory will be iterated or traversed recursively. We then override a method named visit file to visit the file directory based on the given path and basic file attributes. Here, we'll first import file visit result. Then, we import basic file attributes. Next, add these lines of code. We call a static method named indexdoc, which we'll create later. We have deliberately left the catch block empty as we have to decide what to do if a file cannot be indexed. Return from the visit file method. This line of code is used for that. Now we close this block. We need to create an else block. In the else block, 
call the index doc method. Remember that in the else block, we are dealing with files, not directories. At the end, close the index docs method. Now, we create a method to deal with indexing of a single document. This is the code to create the method. We then create a try block to create a new empty document. We import input stream and document from Apache Lucene. Next, add the path of the file as a field. As a field name, type path. The field will be searchable or indexed. However, note that you do not tokenize the field and do not index term frequency or positional information. Here we import field. String field. And long point from Lucene. Now, add the last modified date of the file, a field named modified. Add the contents of the file to a field named contents. The reader that you specify will make sure that the text of the file is tokenized and indexed, but not stored. We import the text field from Lucene. Buffered reader form java.io. Input stream reader from java.io and standard char sets from java.nio char set. We then create an index for the file. We import open mode from Apache Lucene. There is a chance that the document might have been indexed already. This else block will handle those cases. We use update document instead of replacing the old one matching the exact path if present. Import term from Lucene We close the try block and the method. Now, let's create the main method for the class. This is our main method in which we'll be providing three options from the console when you run your program. The first option is index path, and the parameter will be the folder that contains indexes. The second option is docs path, and the parameter will be the folder that contains text files. And the last option is create, and the parameter will denote whether you want to create new indexes or update old indexes. To hold the values of these three parameters, create and initialize three variables. After that, set the values of the three options using this code. Then, we set the document directory. We import path from java.nio.file.paths. We start indexing the files in our directory. First, set the timer, as we will be timing the indexing latency. Now, add this block of code. For indexing, we create a directory and create an analyzer. We use a basic, standard analyzer and an index writer configurer. Here, we import directory, analyzer, and index writer config from Lucene. You can see that here. Next, add this highlighted code. With the index writer configured and based on the input regarding the creation or update of the index, set the open modes for the indexing. If we choose to create a new index, the open mode will be set to create. Otherwise, it will be create underscore or underscore append. Here, we create an index writer. Then, close the writer like this. At this point, we're almost done with the coding. Just complete the tracking of time for indexing with the help of this code. Close the try block. We intentionally left the catch block blank so that you can decide what you do in the case of an exception during indexing. Close the main method and then close the class. Just add the package and then save the file. Right click on the project in Eclipse, select Run As, and click on Run Configurations, New Configuration. Go to the Arguments tab in the Run Configurations window. Wait! First, name it as Index Files. Now, in the Program Arguments option, type hyphen docs input slash hyphen index index slash. Click on Run. So, this is the output we get. This is the complete code.